This week on City News, we've been exploring medical assistance in dying. It's also known as MAID. In one year from now, those with a diagnosed mental illness will also be able to access MAID here in Canada. Though the federal government has yet to issue clear guidelines on what is a contentious topic. What are the guardrails? How can we make sure that, that this is a matter of choice? legitimate choice for people with mental illnesses. Senator Pamela Wallen was part of a joint parliamentary committee that along with a group of medical experts was supposed to be looking at this very issue. We need to have proper rules and regulations around it. We need clarity. The committee was dissolved because of the most recent federal election. The government has yet to call them back to reconvene. Setting clear regulations is vital for patients and providers. Made legislation falls under the criminal code in Canada. If I break any of these rules, um, I would um, be in danger of being you know, charged with homicide and, and sent to jail. City News spoke with two made providers. Each have been assessing and assisting patients in doctor assisted deaths since it first became law in 2016. How would you go about assessing someone who's applying for MAID? who has a mental illness as their sole condition. There is certainly disagreement uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the health practitioner community about whether they can ever be cured, whether they can ever, whether, whether we could ever say that they can't be cured, whether there's always something else to try, whether someone has given enough effort over enough time to decide whether that's true or not. Dr. Stephanie Green is releasing this book next month titled, This is Assisted Dying. While she is quick to point out the challenges with providing MAID to patients with a mental health diagnosis, she supports the practice. If the law of the land necessitates that we don't discriminate against people based on their mental health diagnosis, then the real conversation needs to be around how we can um, provide this care in a safe manner, recognizing the uh, the significant potential vulnerabilities in this in this patient population. We need to approach this carefully and cautiously. We're creating the perfect storm where MAID may seem like the only option for a lot of people. Activist Cyrus Marcus Ware believes the expanded legislation will exploit the vulnerabilities of the BIPOC community. A lot of BIPOC uh, folks have mental health diagnoses. There are so little supports out there uh, for us to be able to have access to uh, free or accessibly priced counseling. Why are we so quick to push the option of death before exhausting these other resources? A Canadian trying to access MAID must be assessed by two separate medical practitioners. Dr. Ellen Weeb believes medical professionals are well prepared to assess a person with a diagnosed mental illness. It's pretty clear. Does this person understand the choices, the implications, the results? Um, some don't. If they understand all those things, I am certainly happy to provide um, the death if they want that. Tomorrow on City News, we follow one woman's journey to access medical assistance in dying. We also preview our upcoming documentary, Veracity, Made in Canada, airs Sunday, February 27th at 10 p.m. Eastern, only on City TV.